to the 40 now for first and 10. Now Hurts on the option right. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Now Hurts changing up the play. Throwing on second and 14. Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia! A.J. Brown, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Hey, Lyon, the Jacksonville Lyon. offense set to begin their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. You look at this Eagle defense. They enter this one down in the 26th position in the NFL against the run. This is an area of the game that they definitely have to improve because right now, against the pass, top 10 in the league. But against the run, that's where the struggles have come in. You've got to find a way to make sure they stop runners before they get started. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. Now Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. That's returnable now for Smith. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look, Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. He may go. Saquon Barkley, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley with career touchdown number 60. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll look to ETN to start things out. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. This is second and eight. 
Now Lawrence. Flushed out right. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Now Lawrence on first down. A short throw to Ingram, and he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Second down and three. A give, it's ETN off the option. And this will be a Jaguars first down as good running gets into about the 44. Duvernay in motion. On play action, Lawrence. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A good pick up there of 22. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Lawrence completes it to Evan Ingram. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They get 17 down to the 17, and it's a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now Lawrence. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Looking to throw Lawrence. He'll buy some time right. But I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. And he pulled it. Oh, my goodness. It's no good. He missed it. It's been a nightmare season. You're well under 500. Your defense hasn't really kept you in a lot of games. And now it's spilling over to the kicking game. That's three points you've got to be able to bank on. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true. But last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that is incomplete. And they approach this drop with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Oh, 
On third down, he'll drop to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Fielded at about the 28. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? But well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Let's go, let's go. On second down, a run with ETN. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. A nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. And you know what I love about that play as a broadcaster? Seeing the big guys move, seeing them get upfield and take out defenders. You know what I hated as a defensive back? What? That exact same <laughs> thing. Seeing those linemen coming downfield, getting ready to blot out the sun. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 54 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. Down the sideline he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, Charles, he was looking for just a short throw, kept it in range for the rare linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights and where he was looking to throw, he positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3. I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? They'll run with ETN. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. 